Hi, in this example, we will see how EMS for inventor can be used to find out the circuit parameters for two parallel traces inside a PCB. Let me start by explaining the model. If you look closely, there is this green part, which is the PCB, and we also have two copper traces in them. These traces are embedded in two parallel layers of PCB and they are connected by vias. There is also air geometry surrounding the PCB and the traces. Let us see how EMS for inventor can be used to study both the capacitance between the two traces as well as the inductance and the mutual inductance between the two traces can be computed. To do the simulation in EMS, which is embedded inside Autodesk Inventor, you just have to go to the EMS Feature Manager tab. Inside the EMS Feature Manager tab, the studies are organized as follows. As you can see, the first study that was created is cre created to compute the capacitance between the two traces. To do that, we define what is called as an electrostatic study in EMS. Once the study has been defined, we need to simply define the materials for the various components. The two traces are made of copper, but to apply materials, you select the components and select apply materials. EMS comes with a fully customizable material library that contains most of the commonly used material in the electrical and electronics industry. From the conductor materials folder, we select copper. Notice that there are also other materials such as substrates, semiconductors, etc. We apply a material FR4 to the PCB and the air outer region is made of air. To compute the capacitance between the two traces, we need to identify the two traces as floating conductors. So here I select the first trace and denote it a floating conductor. Similarly, I do that for the second trace. And finally, we have to identify the ground plane. As you see here, the bottom plane of the PCB, which is in contact with a very thin layer of conductor material like copper, is now denoted the ground plane. Once the simulation has been defined, we can solve the same and I have solved it and we can jump straight into the results. Just as a recap, we are interested in computing the capacitance between the two traces. To do that, I double click on the result table and I straight away get the capacitance matrix. So this is the capacitance between the trace one and the ground. And this is the capacitance between the trace two and the ground. And then the capacitance between each of these traces is there identified in the alternate diagonal of the capacitance matrix. Thus, you can see how EMS for inventor can be used to find the capacitance matrix. Along with capacitance, it is important to find the inductance and the mutual inductance between the two conductors. To do that, we define a magnetic study, in this case, an AC magnetic study, because we are interested in computing the inductance at 10 kilohertz frequency. 
So we can specify the frequency here. Notice that you can actually take the frequency and make it as a variable and you can give any value under the operating conditions of this PCB. In this case, we are interested in computing the inductance at 10 kilohertz. Similar to the previous study, we have defined the materials and now we have to denote the two traces as coils. And the idea is really to tell the program where the current enters the trace and where it exits the trace. So you can see here that we select the trace, we select the face where the current enters and we select the face where the current exits. Similarly, we do that for the second coil as well. Now, EMS for inventor can solve this problem and give us the value of the inductance matrix. And that is also available in the result table. Now you see a lot more values in the result table as compared to the previous study. For example, EMS will be able to compute the DC resistance for the two traces. It also computes the inductance matrix, which consists of both the self inductance as well as the mutual inductance. And finally, you can get quantities such as impedance as a matrix. So we saw in this example how EMS for inventor was able to compute both the capacitance and the inductance for a set of parallel traces on a PCB. Thank you for watching this video.